This morning during our 11 a.m. newscast, we told you about a local man who was having a difficult time finding which organization could take a desert tortoise he found on the side of the road. 23 BC's Mark Christian is here now with where that reptile is headed. Mark. That's right, Todd. Reptilian experts say finding a tortoise on the side of the road is pretty commonplace this time of the year, and they had some advice for anyone who finds this kind of creature on the side of the road. Comments on, on to everybody that picks him up. He's got people that want him. Richard Buer found a desert tortoise last night sleeping in a flower bed on the side of the road off of Panama and Fairfax. And then he had a hard time finding a place to take it. it turns out to be quite a mystery here uh, where to. Uh, Drop one of these off. 911 didn't know. Experts say it's not unusual to find a wayward tortoise this time of year. We just get them all the time. I picked up two today. So if you spot a turtle on the side of the road or in a neighborhood, the Kern County Turtle and Tortoise Club says don't make this common mistake. You're not supposed to release a turtle back into the wild because they can have different diseases and stuff that wild turtles don't have. Out, it's clean. I don't use it for trash, but... Viewer finally got in contact with the Bakersfield Reptile Club, who took the tortoise in. I'll miss having Turtle Boy uh, right outside the door there, making his noise and eating the lettuce, but uh, I'm sure he'll go to a good home. And the problem stems from owners not keeping their yards secure. Oh, because they, they dig out of yards all the time. And turtles move faster than you may think. You can turn your back and turn back around and they'll be gone. But not fast enough to dodge traffic. Well, they can be run over, you know, crossing a road or whatever. They can just be ran over and killed. If you decide to adopt a tortoise you find, experts say you need to be educated before you take on that task. Plus, in some cases, the reptile needs to be registered. Just a tag, gotcha. uh, registering that you do have permission to have a turtle. And I'm delighted to see a happy ending to this. Now, if you come across a roaming reptile, your best bet is to contact the Kern County Turtle and Tortoise Club. In studio, Mark Christian, 23ABC.